So the other day I bought something that was rather exciting. I've been on about it for ages and ages and written of my lustings about it and Instagrammed it and just wanted it so badly. And then when I finally decided that I wanted it, nowhere had it in stock. So I went on a bit of a wild goose chase for it and eventually found it. And if you haven't guessed already, it's the NARS and God Created The Woman palette which looks a little something like this and I'd sort of just been everywhere and I'd, it, I'd had it in front of me a few times and it was winking at me but I thought I don't really need it, it's not a must have by any stretch of the imagination, it's just a really pretty palette that has quite a few NARS colours in that I've wanted to try and a few little added extras which works out averagely okay value for a NARS product but I turned it down a few times and then when I actually decided that I wanted it Space NK didn't have it in stock. And then that just makes me want it even more. So eventually I tracked it down in one of their shops and it was the last one. And I was like, right, okay, I have to get this. And I've been using it all this week and I just love it. I think it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Like I said, you don't need it. There's very similar things out there. The Urban Decay Naked Palette, the Naked 2 Palette. The, you know, it's the neutral shadow. It's all much of a muchness. But it catered to my eyeshadow noob needs and the fact that I'm not particularly fantastic at eyeshadow application or knowing what colours go with what. And this just has it all in one palette and good to go. And the set itself costs £40.50 in the UK and I've got a feeling it's exclusive to Space NK, although you can find it on the NARS website in the UK as well. And I think it's still in stock on there. But it has six shadows in it. And it also comes with a little eyeshadow brush, which is actually really good. It's not fantastic at packing on colour, but it works really nicely if you just want to do like a sheer wash of colour over the eye and really good for blending. And the other thing is the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I've really been wanting to try this as well. So the fact that it had a little kind of sample size, it's very small. It's definitely not a big palette. That's sort of the size that you sort of get. Um, but I really wanted to try the prime, so the fact that it came with that and it came with a brush and it had a few ones that I wanted to try in it, I just thought I'm going to go ahead and get this. So I thought today I would do a bit of a look with it and sort of show you around the palette and do a bit of a makeup tutorial and everything rolled into one. So I'm going to get started with the look that I'm wearing today and I actually mixed two bases today and it's the Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Foundation in Sand and I mixed it with the Laura Mercier uh, Oil Free Tinted Moisturiser in Bisque partly because my skin's quite dry at the moment and I really like the Bobbi Brown, it's got quite a bit of coverage, my skin's also not looking too fabulous at the moment, so the Bobbi Brown's good for coverage, but it's a bit too drying, whereas the Laura Mercier just has a bit of dewiness to it, so together they actually make a really nice, kind of slightly dewy, but not with a bit of extra coverage. The Bobbi Brown pumps up the coverage and the Laura Mercier pumps up like the radiance to the skin, so it's a really nice combination. I just mix that on the back of my hand and then blended it in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Standard procedures there, nothing special, but that just creates a really nicely kind of medium-ish coverage base with a bit of luminosity to the skin and then under the eyes I went for Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Sand. I'm actually on my third tub of this now. I kind of flit around with other things especially the by Terry Touche Velute in the summer but for the winter when I need a bit of extra coverage I really haven't been sleeping very well recently either. This just covers up dark circles really nicely without looking too cakey under the eyes. And then the cheeks, I kept it really, really simple and just did a bit of contouring and highlighting with my trusty Kevin Aquan duo. So I used the Sculpting Powder and Medium first on a MAC 187 brush and just put that under the cheekbones and buffed that in, did, did the usual thing. And then I went over the top, um, over the top of my cheekbones with the Kevin Aquan the Celestial Powder in Candlelight. And for that I used the Illamasqua Blush Up Brush, which is supposed to be used for blush, but I find it a bit too the blush, I don't like my blush that full on and that bold, but it's fabulous for highlight because you can just kind of pop it on exactly where you need it, just on the tops of the cheekbones, a little bit down the centre of the face and under the brow bone or all those other little places they tell you to highlight, but I generally just go for the tops of the cheekbones. And for my brows, I went for the Hourglass Arch uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil in Soft Brunette, which I just think is absolutely incredible. It's like a pencil, powder, wax, everything in one, it's quite a waxy texture so it just keeps my brows in place 
but also adds a bit of subtle definition and the match is really good for my brows. Then onto eyes, which is the exciting part. And the first thing I do is I take the Shea Mirror Eyelash Curlers and just curl my lashes first. I like to do that first. I'm not really sure why. I just feel like otherwise I could spend a while doing all my um, eyeshadow and then sort of smudge it a bit by getting, getting in there with the curlers. So I just do that first. And then I use the... Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. I just dab that on and then sort of worked it over with my fingers. And I really like this actually. I'm used to using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and that is so much thicker. You can really feel it. It's almost like a cream eyeshadow, whereas this is pretty much invisible. I kind of patted it in and it just disappeared. I didn't feel like I had anything on my eyelids. So it's definitely a more lightweight um, eyeshadow primer and I like that. And the first colour I use out of the palette is Kalahari, which is the taupey pinky shade with like a ready undertone and that's the main colour of the look. That was the one I was just instantly drawn to when I looked at this palette first. And I just took that all over the lid with a Benefit Shadow Liner brush. This is a very random brush that I bought years and years and years ago, probably a good six, seven years ago now. I'm not even sure if they still make it, but it's just a very, it's like a synthetic pretty packed in brush so it's fantastic for just getting on the colour and because it's quite a shimmery shade I find <laughs> shimmery shade god try saying that really quickly um I find it best to put on like pat on instead of sweeping it on if I pat it on I just found that the shimmers stay there better and you're not kind of moving it all around you can just get the colour exactly where you need it so I pack on the colour first and then I went back with a MAC 217 brush and just blended out any harsh lines I've created from packing on the colour and I love the MAC 217. If you're an eyeshadow noob like myself, this is amazing. It just kind of does the work for you. I just hold it quite close to the end and just blend any edges and it makes everything look soft and everything look like you're half decent at doing your eyeshadow. So anything that does that is good by me. Then I took this shade here, Bellissima, which is the taupey sort of quite cool toned isn't it's a matte shade and I quite like that if I'm wearing a really shimmery like all over the lid colour I quite like to do any crease work in a matte shade because then it's not too overly shimmery and for that I just applied that with the um, the MAC 217 again popped that in sort of the outside corner and just blended that across a bit into the crease and I like the fact it's a bit cool toned as well I think they work quite nicely together Kalahari is quite warm toned and then Bellissima is quite cool toned but they actually so, you know, they, they make it work. So I put that in the corner, blended it in, and then I went back with the um, the NARS brush, actually. I find this fantastic for just blending it out. Like, it's so big and it's so fluffy. It's really good just to put on its side and just blend across. So I did that just to make sure everything was super blended and because it was clean and my 217 wasn't. So that just made sure that everything's super, super, super blended. And I also took Bellissima under the eyes on the Benefit Shadow Liner brush again because sometimes I like that look of a bit of a natural shadow under the eyes. I think it can look quite flattering. So I took that under the eyes for a bit of definition. I then took the Shadow Liner brush again because it's very thin and flat. It's fantastic for if you wanna put like a almost eyeliner shade just on the outer corner or along the lash line. And I took Coconut Grove and just took that right on the outer corner of the lash line and didn't really put too much on, it was really subtle, just a bit of something something in the corner to like add that extra bit of definition. And then I took Alhambra, which is right here, that's the lightest one out of the six, just took that on my finger and popped it in by the tear duct for a bit of inner corner highlight action. And then to finish off the eyes, I just used a few coats of the Lancome Hypnose Waterproof Mascara and Shock Horror, it's not the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof, but I've actually run out and I just haven't been bothered to get a new one just yet but it's on my shopping list so I will definitely pick up one of those soon but the Lancome Hypnose does a good job I don't think it's as good as L'Oreal Telescopic you know I love that but it's it's all right and it's sort of just keeping me going until I make another trip to Boots to pick that up so put some lashings of that on and then to finish it off I use MAC Patisserie Lipstick which is quite a neutral but it's not too pale on the lips it's just a, your lips but a little bit better shade so I just popped that on and then patted it out so it didn't look too full on on the lips but I really really like that for just an everyday slick of kind of like a mini review of the NARS and God Created Woman palette and a look all thrown into one and if you want more NARS action then I have done a post on this on my blog today as well so I'll link that up below where I talk about it even more than I do in this video so I hope you like that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye